Hey guys, so in the last couple of weeks I've been thinking about two words that kind of tumbled through my mind and it's kindness versus happiness. So what's more important to you? Is it more important to have friends who are happy or people who are kind? And you know my aunt Lavina was always telling her kids, hey be kind, be kind, oh be kind one to another, be kind, and I was annoyed at that because I thought it was fake. And um, my other aunt, um, not Fanny, should I say aunt or aunt? Linda, Aunt Linda had a list for her kids and said, when you're looking for a mate, find someone who's kind to animals. I thought that was silly, yet now it's actually kind of profound. So there's there's this link now that I'm, that I'm thinking like, kindness and happiness is linked to fitting in and belonging. And then yesterday, what kind of brought this together is listening to a podcast from, um, it's called On Being. The logo is the word on, top of being. And I forget the girl's name, Tritt or something. She interviewed Brené Brown and they were rambling away. And the first five minutes they talk about going into fifth grade class and Brené Brown asked the fifth graders, what is the difference between fitting in versus truly belonging? And the fifth graders said, to fit in means that I want to be there and to belong means that the other kids want me there, right? Isn't that great? Uh, there's a milkman going past. I can't talk over this. And then they went on to talk about different answers of what it means to fit in and belong. And they got to talking about, like it hurts a lot to not belong at school, but what's much, much worse than that is not belonging at home. And of course, if you listen to the podcast, you better have tissues with you. <laughs> um, but it's good stuff. And, you know, I, I, I thought through that. I was like, well, you know what? That's the, that's the making of a bully. If there's a group of middle schoolers or whatever age, let's just go with middle schoolers. The making of a bully is someone who tries to fit in, but they don't really fit in. And so they don't feel like they belong. And out of that pain, they have bad behavior. They sabotage their ability to even fit in anymore. And they can become a bully or become a recluse and depressing. And that's probably where a lot of suicide comes from. And, um, you know, you teachers, you have a big influence on kids to when they come into your room to give them a chance to feel like they truly belong. Maybe they don't belong to other kids, but you can create an environment where they can hang up their backpack and hang up their armor and actually be sad, be happy, and feel like they truly belong to your classroom. There's a lot of circular stuff in this thing. So as I, you know, I'm in a, a place in life where I can kind of decide the type of people I surround myself with. And I'm definitely attracted to people who are kind and happy. Um, the opposite for sure not. Like people who are pessimistic and think our political situation is terrible. I, I, I don't care. Like just go away. I want to talk to people who are kind and happy. It's just me. Be happy, happy, happy. But happiness is not necessarily sustainable if it is coming from a place of just fitting in. Like, you can just say, like, hey, I'm happy. And when you go into a group of people, you just be the chameleon and fit in, and you feel happy for a while. Like, even a, a manipulative person can be happy, but it's not really sustainable. Like, kindness comes from truly fitting in, I think. I think. I think there's a connection to that. And looking back at my life, I haven't necessarily been kind. I mean, you ask my mom, she knows that. You ask my brothers and sisters, no, I'm not kind. Sometimes I'm just downright rude and um, an asshole. Especially when I was in my 20s and 30s, I kind of learned how to tone it down so I fit in better. But my experience has been, so I, yeah, I definitely try to fit in and I change my behavior so people like me because I want to fit in. I desperately want to fit in. Um, you know, supposedly we are built, our DNA, we are built to want to belong. But sometimes we're, we're, so in order to belong and we don't feel like we belong, and so we change ourselves to fit in. Like we, we, we move our blocks around so we fit in. And then we fit in and then, you know, collapses out. And those of you, just think about the first time you met me. I probably burst into the scene, said something funny, said some off the wall joke, and made you laugh and probably well, may or may not have insulted you or your friend because my jokes tend to do that. And I didn't mean it to hurt. I just want to fit in and, and, and fit in. I just want to fit in. And it's so a self-serving thing. And then I walk away and like, oh, what did I just do? And I walk away and you're like, what just happened? And so over time, you're like, oh, well, he didn't mean it that way, blah, blah, blah. 
And that just happened to me yesterday. Someone reminded me like, hey, the first time you met me, you said something that was off the wall. I was like, what? And they were, they were hurt. And I wish, I wish I could rewind that conversation yesterday and I should have asked her, was like, oh, what was that like when I said that? Instead, yesterday I just kind of made a joke again and said, well, I was actually meant as a compliment, blah, blah. but it was a backhanded confident, con, compliment that um, was hurtful. And over time they realized that I'm not a hurtful guy, yet that situation hurt. And it came out of a place of me feeling like I don't belong and you know that's kind of like my my backhanded bulliness um so the question is for fifth and sixth graders if they don't belong you know if they try to fit in and they don't they're that weird and awkward and not um don't have an emotional intelligence to figure out how to fit in and they still don't belong you know what's a fifth grader to do and a lot of them turn to bullying well what a fifth grader should do is they should say okay i belong to myself and stand alone and say, no, that behavior is wrong. Like the, the ability to stand alone and say, I belong to me is a very important thing to be able to do. To be able to then fit in and just to be raw and authentic and not change yourself so you fit in, just be who you are. And sometimes if we just be who we are, at first it's raw and clunky and, and, and comes off wrong and all that. Yet I think people know when we're being real and they will help you say, come on, like, grow up or stop being an asshole or I, I don't know it just just be and you will be where were we going with this oh for me so for me you know now I realize that I've been doing a lot of my life trying to fit in where I really wanted to belong like as a realtor you talk to people and just want them to like you and fit in and, and, and trust you long enough to hire you to sell their house and it's a transaction everyone wins yet that's not a relationship that doesn't really work in relationships. Uh, we truly want to belong. Like we want to show up at a party and they want you there. Like, isn't it feel good to have someone say, hey, come to my party. Like you're invited to my party. And when you get there, they say, hey, good to see you. And when you leave, like, hey, it was great to have you here again. It was, you know, like that feels good. And we work so hard to fit in that sometimes we don't even belong. So my new thing that I'm gonna to try to do is instead of fitting in all the time just be a little more who I am and and um, realize that I that I that I might come across as, as, as rude um, and my jokes are could be insulting and just back off from that um, I'm still not quite sure what to do with someone who is awkward and like who I don't like I would use to say hey that guy's fun to be with and he's stupid well that's so unkind that he's so unkind I think what's better to do is if someone awkward shows up and say, hey, like you're fun to be with and you have this quirky side, I don't say this, I, you, like get close to them and hear their story and listen to them like what makes them who they are instead of just running away and say, just labeling they're stupid people because I sure don't want people to do that to me. Now the question is what if I go to a group and I don't feel like I belong? Well the answer simply is I need to stand up and say, no that's not right. Um, I am belong to myself and be kind to myself. Because isn't that the real key? If we can individually be kind to ourselves and belong to ourselves, and on a, on, a, on a spiritual level, if you believe in a higher power, that we are kind to ourselves and know that we belong, we truly belong to the universe, the higher power. I'm a Christian, I believe in God, and I believe, you know, the, um, oh, the shack, that Papa loves you. And that's not a hokey thing. It's kind of like, uh, gravity you don't have to believe in gravity if you jump off a roof you're gonna fucking fall and I don't care if you believe in God or not I have faith that the, the word is God but you don't have to believe in it we, we do belong to a higher power and of course you can have your beliefs and I think it's fascinating how different people believe in that higher power and put different words like the karma um, Muslim have their beliefs I don't even know what all the beliefs are but somehow we are we are connected to other people and to the and you know to animals and trees and all that and I'm still kind of curious how all that works so as breaking it all down I definitely am going to decide to surround myself with kind people more than happy people because you can be happy and be a narcissist but it's not sustainable happiness and eventually it falls apart so I'm a little bit I'm a little bit cautious with people who are just happy 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 because I'm wondering does that truly come out of a heart of belonging and feeling like you belong to a higher power 
or belonging to yourself. Um, but I guess more importantly, I have to think about myself and what I belong to. And I'm hoping you think about yourself. And, you know, what do you think about the making of a bully? Is it true that the making of a bully is comes from a from from not belonging and then putting on the armor and it's easier to act out in hate like if the fear of not belonging tends to make people act out in in um in, in just being unkind so this is 10 minutes that you will not be able to get back